What's going on, YouTube? My name is Tyler with SKing.com. Thanks for watching my video. As the title says, what's wrong with acorns? I've seen some videos on YouTube recently of people complaining about acorns, saying don't invest in them. Um, they're not, you're paying three dollars a month. It's up, it's up two dollars. It was it was a dollar, now it's three dollars, which is true. And they're saying acorns only, I'm sure my portfolio first. Well, I got so far, the 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 pro the, the portfolio don't even um you know they only invest in like four or five of ETFs. VO is one of them, and you could you could go to Robinhood and you can do it yourself, right? Which is all true. So before I begin this video, I am not a financial advisor or giving any financial advice. You invest on your own risk. People are saying online after. Time of promoting acorns. Now they want to switch it up, saying it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's bad. They charge you a lot of money. Um, they only, they, they only put five six dollars, or they only, you know, they only invest in uh, certain ETFs. Like VOO is one of them, and you can go to Robinhood and set up five dollar, you know, recurring investments of VOO. The same thing uh, Acorn is doing, and that's all true. But the one thing they're leaving out is acorns is not was not meant for you what you can. It's not it was not made, it was not presented or promoted to you throw $34 in and they'll invest for you. And it you can do that. The main thing about acorns is is the roundups. You're paying for the roundups. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for every time you swipe your debit card or credit card, it rounds up to the next dollar. So if you spend a dollar fifty somewhere, and you if you add fifty cents to that as two dollars, that fifty cent goes to Acorns. And once it builds to five dollars, it'll tear out your account and invest in the stock market for you. You're paying for that. You're paying for your your investing in the stock market without even. Do it yourself. Go Robinhood, you got to set everything up. Now, you can sell a really current investment through Robinhood, but some platforms you can't. So, it's hard to do it now. But the roundup feature is another way to invest because well, Acorns, you don't have to put the money in. You don't got to throw $5, $10 in. You can just do roundups. And anything that's being debit card or credit card, that spare change will go to Acorns automatically for you. And over time, you might have three or four hundred dollars while even thinking about it. Why even thinking about it? So acorns, these people because people are, are not they're, they're telling you the truth, but they're misleading you. And I use this for an example. It's like you go to KFC, right? Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC restaurant, Kentucky Chicken. You go there and buy a fish sandwich. And the fish sandwich is terrible. Man, it's a bad fish sandwich. It's fish sandwich is, is trash, it's garbage. And it could be true. The fish sandwich could be trash. It's it's true. But you go to KFC for chicken. You don't go there for fish. You don't go to a barbecue place and get meatloaf or fish. You don't go to a fish restaurant, a seafood restaurant, and get pork chops or steak. Or meat, like I said meatloaf. I don't go to a fish shop and get meatloaf because they specialize. KFC specializes in chicken. The, the seafood restaurant specializes in seafood, so I will get seafood. My wife said uh, we went to a restaurant, went to a seafood restaurant for my birthday, and I ordered mahi mahi and some scallops and shrimp. And she was like, "I'm surprised you didn't get steak." Well, I'm at a restaurant that specializes in fish. And seafood. So I'm going to get what they specialize in. If I want a steak, I go to a steakhouse. I don't, that's that's where I look at people complain about acorns. Acorns was made for the roundups. It's not really made, I mean, you could, you could invest, you could buy steak at a seafood place, but they're specialized, acorns specialized for roundups. That's, that's their main, that's the main selling point. The main selling point is investing in roundups. Take your spare change, taking that, that coffee money, 
taking a little bit of change and investing in the stock market for you. That's what they're really selling you on. They're not selling you on, well, you know, you throw give five dollars or whatever. That, that that's a part of it, but that's what I look at it. So people are complaining now about acorns. They used it for a long time. Yeah, a lot of money into it, by the way. And you know they ain't sub the durance they the, the accounts they have, they don't really get rid of it. They still got the acorns account. But they're mad because you know you spend three dollars a month and they're only investing in three, four, or five different ETFs, and you can do it for free through Robinhood or whatever, Rebo, whatever else. It's all true. They're not lying, it's true. But that's not what Acorns is made for. Acorns is made for the person who knows nothing about the stock market. It's made for somebody who wants to invest passively, who don't want to look at it, who can invest. Why are you thinking about it? Because with Robinhood, you got to know what you, you got to buy full shares or factional shares. Uh, people don't want to do that. He want to just invest passively. You know what I'm saying? Invest passively. It's easy that way. You don't got to think about it. And before you know it, they got $200 in, in acorns without even thinking about it. Automatically thinking about it. And acorns, you don't have to put the money in. You just use the roundups. So, and they have retirement accounts too. So, I think acorns, for, in my, I'm not getting financial advice. Acorns, personally, for me, is another tool to invest in, not a little, a little bit. Not a whole lot. I'm not throwing hundred dollars in here. I'm throwing a little bit of money, and I do that because I want to retire early. If I want to retire at fifty nine, because fifty nine is usually the time you could take out your four hundred one k. At age what fifty nine, I go fifty nine or fifty nine. If it let me uh, drag it at fifty at sixty years old. At five dollars a month, I why this thing is highlighting, but okay. So again, they're doing five dollars a week with round up. I have forty four thousand when I'm sixty. Hypothetical, it could happen, but that five dollars we invested in the round up is not hurting me at all. And I have something else besides my, my dividend, my four hundred one. I have something else I can invest in little by little, and over time it builds up. Because you gotta remember, Acorns and the stock, or these stock market apps, or Robinhood, was not available to our parents. I'm, you know, my mid thirties. It wasn't available to our grandparents. It wasn't available to our parents. Remember, back then you had to pay four or five bucks for every trade you do. Every trade you do was you gotta pay a money to buy into stocks. Today, they're all free. And our parents didn't have the type of technology, the type of apps where they can invest passively. So that's why I use Acorns for. It's another, for me, it's like a high yield savings account. And for me, it's just swipe my debit card, that little bit of change, I'm going to save for my future. But don't get into the hype because people are misleading you in some form or fashion saying that it's not a good deal. Um, you know, the, with the acorns you can do, you can do a Robin Hood, except roundups. And that's the main selling factor. So thanks for watching my video. If you want to join acorns, I have a link down below in my little rant. But I'm going to digress right now. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and see you next time.